Hey there, welcome to Freesat Spares. We're going to do a little experiment with the modern Freesat boxes. This is going to be in several parts um, because it's going to be a work in progress to see what we can do. Well, how can you experiment with these boxes? Well, there's only one real thing that we can do that I found because these boxes are pretty as they are. Pretty much you buy them, they've got a hard drive, a main board. Um, as you might see here, this is the standard box. There's normally a hard drive in here. We've done other videos about that. This hard drive can be changed, but they do have this mini box um, that does not have a hard drive in it and cannot record. It's for streaming only. So what experiment are we going to do? Well, I am going to see if I can fit a hard drive in this smaller box. How you say? Well, we're going to see if we can fit a M.2 type drive to the system. So we're just going to close down here, close the image in slightly. The main thing we're going to have an issue with is the main board itself. As you can hopefully see that these two boards are basically the same. Um, let's just go through the differences that we can see so we've got a different daughter board for the infrared control here simple enough um and for some reason they transpose the so we've got this little daughter board here in the smaller box only does the infrared by the looks of it i can't say that it does anything else but on this larger board if you look in this bottom corner they've actually moved the focus box uh, focus camera um, they've moved the on button from the main board to the daughter board whatever the design decision that that's what they've done I guess otherwise the on button would be in a bit of a funny place but anyway that is the main difference these daughter boards on to other technical differences that we are going to have to make changes on if we do this as you can see on the large box that normally has a hard drive in, it has a hard drive SATA connector, SATA connector and a power lead that runs to this little plug. Right, so on this little board, on this little box, they have omitted those and they've also admitted a few other things that are quite interesting. Let me just get a pointer, I don't, right, so it's weird looking for a camera doing this but here where these pins are where I'm pointing at there should be a few components um, they're not many but they are tiny it looks like a couple of resistors maybe a capacitor maybe some sort of um, well it's got three legs so it could be a diode it could be a, 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 yeah <laughs> what's the other word I'm looking for um, something that handles power switching like some sort of dual output diode oh my god the name escapes me at the moment put in the comments if you remember what, <laughs> what they are but it probably something related around regulating power now getting these power connectors and this SATA connector easy but to work out what these components are, we're going to have to take some measurements and see if it's something we can buy to add to this board. Equally, if that's not possible, these main boards, let's just zoom back out slightly. Um, these main boards are basically the same. They are, I, for all intents and purposes, the connections on the back are the same. Um, it's just the daughter board for the infrared that seems to be different. So, this is part one of this video. I am going to buy the connectors, the components that I need, to, I think I need to fit on there to modify this smaller board. And I'm going to buy an M.2 hard drive that I think will be compatible and an adapter card for the M.2. We may hardwire everything, we may not. One of the restri restrictions we've got, um, this may be a little bit hard to show on camera, but you can see on the top of the case, big heat sink on top of the case. So then we've got this pad, this heat um, transfer pad that connects to it. So when actually we click that onto this box, we've got very little room. I would say we've got 
about seven centimeters of space to fit something into. Um, so we're going to have to buy a, buy a very particular board that um, can be put in there. For the purposes of th this experiment, I don't think it matters to start with. If I can prove proof of concept that we can get it working, then we can go and find the correct components or possibly even get some made um, that will fit. Because I think people would really like a box that's a third of the size that it can record. What do you think? Is it something you might buy? Maybe you'd buy a kit from us to do it yourself? Um, I would say you need some particularly specialised electronics work equipment because of the size of these components here. So that could be... I keep I keep ticking, don't I, when I breathe? I apologise for that. I'm going to just try and stop doing that. Uh, but let's see how it goes. So part one of trying to squeeze a big hard drive in a little box to improve your TV experience. Let me know if you've tried anything similar and I'd love to get your opinions on whether or not you think this might work or I'm going to have lots of troubles. Watch out for part two in about two to three weeks once I get the components.